totally real. Hey, I'm Guy Branham and this is Bar Talk at JFL. How is your festival going? It's been amazing. It's been a dream come true. It really has just watching all these legends float around and it who feels like summer camp. Who are you excited to see when you're, when um, you're here? Man, well, was, I ran into Michael Che last night. I haven't seen him in a minute because yeah. I was in New York and I watched him, you know, just blow up. So it was nice to see him. Yeah. I'm on a show with Andrew Schultz, who I've known for years. Uh -huh. It's honestly really nice to see peers just doing their thing and yeah. just becoming so... I don't know, growing in their comedy. It's nice to see that. I don't know. Were you a new face? I wasn't. Oh, neither was I. Yeah. But <laughs> it's like you always want to hear the story about I came here as a child and now I'm a woman. <laughs> I was a zygo and they discovered but me. But we had to hack our way up. We no, did. <laughs> nobody opened the door for us. We made our own goddamn door. <laughs> we did. And now I'm harassing cameramen in Canada. <laughs> but you said you've been watching the, the Roastmasters a lot. It's so fun. Okay, why, why do you as a comic love watching that experience? I love watching it because it's not a skill that. I myself have. Uh -huh. I, I can't be mean and funny. I'm just mean. That surprises me because you seem very mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just cool to see them go at each other like in a schoolyard. Yes. And that, be that become like this formatted show. And I love Jeff Ross. And I just like to see the banter back and forth well, and the, the creative jokes. The creativity and also the having to like see somebody else. Yes. You know, it's like sometimes it's like, ha ha, you're fat or you're short. But when they really get at like oh, the bad parts of their relationship. Yeah, when or, they know you're a bad mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, damn it. Okay, so who is your current comedy crush? Who are you always excited to see? Uh, Jimmy Carr, by far. Okay. He's it, the, the concise, the the just vulgarity that is hidden in this happy pack. Not even happy because he's like a mean Brit, but like yes. this neat package. He's acerbic in a yes. suit. It's <laughs> jarring. Acerbic is not something America's do, do well. We're no, too loud for that. We are. <laughs> We're acidic. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, he's amazing. I love Jimmy Carr. Who are your icons? If you were to put together the four faces on the Mount Rushmore of comedy for you. They're all dead. Okay. <laughs> I mean, most of them are dead. Go I would ahead. have to say Rivers, Pryor, Hicks, and probably, you know, honestly, my girl Whitney. Yes. I, I mean, love Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings works so hard. So and she hard. is such a craftsman. Yes, she is. Like, it's you... It, all of us are somewhat lazy, and when you see a <laughs> comedian are. who's talented and not lazy, you're like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, you're like, I get up at noon. Don't be rude, okay? <laughs> Don't be rude with your 6 a.m. shift. <laughs> okay, what do you think, if we lived in a world where you were not uh, the, the genius comedian that you are, <laughs> what would you be doing? Uh, something with animals. Okay. Probably on a farm with llamas. Okay. Shirtless. <laughs> like, living an organic life. <laughs> uh Near water. So, like, Oregon lesbianism. I think I'm a homeless <laughs> Oregon lesbian. <laughs> we are going to play a game called Defend It. In this lime box, I have bold, controversial statements. Okay. I will read them to you, and then you have to succinctly explain to me why they are true. Okay. Are you ready to play? I think I'm ready. Let's Nervous. do this. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are totally real. Have you experienced a ghost? Yes. I mean, things move all the time. Like, pictures are, like, shifted. Weird smells. Like, temperatures change. Have you considered that it's earthquakes and farts? It could be earthquakes and farts, and I do smoke a lot of weed. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to forget when you yourself move something or farted. Am I a ghost? <laughs> if you want to make it big in politics, you need to bleach your hair. Um... Yes, you need to bleach your hair 100%. You need to bleach your hair, you need to change your skin tone, change your viewpoints, go for gold. Is and I mean money, not people. Forget people's rights, go for money. Fair. All right, <laughs> last one. Baby carrots are a superfood. Fuck that. Can I swear? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Do you not like baby carrots? I think they're, they're, they're dangerous. I don't trust them, they're like little aliens. No, they're they wonderful. They don't look like a real vegetable. They're sweet. They are full of vitamin A, which is an antioxidant that we don't talk about. Why aren't they just a regular carrot? Why are the baby carrots because like do, ba those, do carrots make love and make little ones? No, they are. The big carrots are tough. They have that skin on them. I want the little delicious ones, and they're they're slightly wet always, which is uncomfortable. Okay, well that same. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jesse May Peluso here at Bar Talk at JFL. Thank you so much. I love that baby carrots are the things that set me off. <laughs> I'm Guy Branham. Thanks for joining me for Bar Talk at JFL. I will continue to drunkenly accost people and talk to them at the bar, but the camera crew has to go home. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting. <laughs>